Hello, Apps here from Dimp Digital. Welcome to Idle Game Chat. This is the weekly video games podcast where we give our impressions of the game that you can play today and react to the latest news from the wonderful world of video games. We're here every Monday on your favourite podcast app and YouTube absolutely free. This week, I'm joined out of rehab by the free time <laughs> Dimp Digital Gaming Quiz Champion, it's Tom Adkins, not Ed Cock. How's it going? Oh, it's been a long road of re- redemption. <laughs> yeah. It is. Tough couple of weeks uh, for this youngster. We had to pay big oh, bucks to get him into one of these the sort program. of... It's where all the celebrities go and they turn to smackheads, you see. So he's, yeah, that's part on the, of the On the juice now, that's it. Part of the 12... St- I actually ain't had... Oh, no, it's like one beer today. Right, so that's... He's relapsed. Set. Yeah. <laughs> well, they said to us, do you want, do, do you want to enroll him on the 12-step program or... Something else, and I, I got the pricing and invoice, and it was eye watering. I thought I can't afford that, so we just yeah, chucked yeah. you on like a two step program where they just sort of give you a talking to and turf you out. So, what can you do really? But you're back, I'm back, back from the dead. I've let the other guests because we've had complaints in the past, mainly from Salmon, <laughs> but uh, it says, Oh, all you do is put Tom on every week, uh, oh, Kins, uh, not good enough. He's the only one so playing games. No, oh, that's it. We've had uh, Adcock, he done an excellent job. Yep. Loading, excellent Adcock, job again. Adcock, for the video people, we finally got his little yeah. head on there. So we had Logan coming about the FPS battle that's going on, and he's he should be off playing other beaters to get caught up on the battlefields and the halos, but he's in this chat waffling away, so <laughs> it's not part of his task to be in here, although he's supposed to be also sound producer, which he wasn't here for... Sort of at the start. Of this week. Yeah, can't be trusted. But we've got some game impressions this week. It's a bit of a weird couple of weeks, really, because we had the Nintendo Direct. Oh, which, yeah, we have to discuss it. Yeah, no, we? some people were saying, well, that's really, that's, that's a real bombshell, that one. And I was a bit like, was it? Mm. What do you think? Was it a bombshell? What? I liked it, to be honest. It, it, was, a, it was another sandwich. It was. A big, I can't remember what they started with now. It was a big announcement at the beginning, and I thought they'd done well with some a few big announcements, but there was a lot of toot on there. Yeah. Uh, I can't even remember what I did yesterday, so fuck knows what that was in that. What did we get in it? Was it there was the one that had... Bayonetta was in it. Bayonetta, wasn't it? Yeah, it ended with Bayonetta. So that's that was coming it. out next year. I thought that was my main takeaway from it anyway. Like a, Yeah. Some of the other stuff. There was a couple more. More dread on... Absolutely dick hard for that. Can he wait? Counting um, down the days now, aren't we? That's yeah, counting uh... down the days. What else was on that fucking thing? Surely must be able to Google this shit. Well, kind of, but that's what I mean. Can't be that good. Are, are you, are, what happened in the, in the Sony showcase we talked about? Here Wolverine, we go. Spider-Man. Come yeah, on. see, that's true. Here we go. What did we get? Castlevania Advance Collection. Binned. Yeah, good for Everyone the fantasy was going... gaming. This out outraiser renaissance. Everyone was fucking dicking over that on Twitter. It was like some old Mega Drive game. Oh, that was it as well, wasn't it? That got them. Dirt room next, next. Yeah. Yeah, so it weren't real. <laughs> Maybe I thought it was better than it was. I think a lot of people were just talking about the Mario movie and the casting and all that, weren't oh, they? Oh, of course, that was, yeah. That was all people were speaking about for that week. So, But we we know. we, we I, The throw is Nintendo is they give you 24 hours notice and that, like, right, it's happening tomorrow. And you're like, well, <laughs> yeah. Could have been factored in, but by that time, I think I'd already either got Logan in or uh, you know recorded it or whatever we'd done. So it wasn't that big a deal. I'm just... Sorry. Just completely disconnected Ooh. from Nintendo. I can't. Yeah, I've got. To, well, this well you're getting week, you're um, getting rolled up for dread. I which am comes getting out Friday. Up. So Friday, I've been toying and toying over this fucking OLED model. I don't. Well, I'm it, I, I'm on. I'm in current. I'm at current bin section. That's in my my head now. I'm like, there's no point. <laughs> well, but that still could turn. What about if we make you decide live on air? Because I've got. I pre-order one for Salmon because he was struggling. He don't want it now because he's got it through AO in the second or third wave, and, you, and I've kept it in case you want it. Yeah. So live on I, it, the chat is saying, "What's he want? What's he going to do?" And I'll cancel it or keep it live. Keep it live. In the minute, I'm thinking bin it because it's just like, it's three hundred and ten pound. I got the money, but I, just, I don't need it. Uh, Albert, 
could could have it. Like, he could have me old one. The but cheaper I'm... way to get Albert involved is to get him a light and go, that's, yeah, that's your think old that. shitter. There's someone on South End on Marketplace selling one for, for 100 quid. I was like, cool. Mm. Probably broke that or something. That's I don't know. Trouble. trouble buying. Yeah. But, yeah, that is... This, I, I've been looking at them, to be honest. Because mm. um, like, that would suit him down to a T. But when I start seeing headlines of what you send of people saying... Uh, Dread was made for the Switch OLED screen. The who, are, who are these people? <laughs> Honestly, who are they? Who it was. I've no idea. Who was it? You sent me the picture, didn't you? Fucking probably IGN. Probably. I think it might be Games yeah. Radar actually. Okay. Games okay. Radar, that's it. But um, yeah, it's it, it is obviously because we've got the OG switches. Mm. It is an upgrade because they've had a, but they've had the V2, which is just a slightly better battery. That's it. Then the OLED, uh, no, then the light, which yep. is a handheld only. And now we've got the OLED, which will have the V2 battery, a better kickstand, which I'll never use. <laughs> and I'll use 21. The screen, which is slightly better. OLED, lovely, but I'm, you know, I'm probably about 80 20 in favour of playing it console, uh, TV. Yeah. Yeah. So, cool, loading with the load. But, um, yeah, so I'm in camping at the minute, but all I've been doing is watching this Dread to and, and that. But yeah, the end, the direct, what do we got? I've got it live here. So um, DLC for Rising, like, cool, okay. Was this Superstars? Yeah, it was Mario Party game. Everyone fucking loves that, didn't yeah. they? Just want to break a Joy-Con, uh, that's the game to play. That was the other thing then, I did. The two announcements... That we're like, there's going to be two more directs. So we've got a fucking another Animal Crossing direct. Yeah, that's coming back <laughs> and from a the smash, dead. And the last Smash character direct. Correct. <laughs> I think that's going to be, it was well, not leaked, it's been rumoured. And the, the, it, I think well, it's the fourth they're going to announce it. So today as this oh, goes live. Cool. But the rumour is it's some Kingdom Hearts character. Oh, is it? Sorrow, is that one? Oh, I've never Don't played know. it. I've got fun. it. Um... But yeah, there was a few. I've got to say, compared to in comparison to the last few Nintendo Directs, it yeah. it was a bit better. I think just mainly because I was so hyped for the thing. That Kirby game, mate, looks like Last of Us. I was like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's something gone wrong there, isn't there? There's a lot of death that's probably ensued before Kirby lands there. I'm half yeah. interested in that, but I'm aware that it's yeah. Kirby. It ain't going to be then, Mario, so. No. Then they come out with the options for the fucking expansion pack for your online mode what they coming <laughs> yeah so we've got N64 and Sega Mega Drive games coming that's going to cost more we don't know how much more oh no to be fair it is pretty dirt cheap and you pick up like 16 quid a year yeah I don't yeah so, that is very cheap know, really in comparison to comparison to the other big boys um yeah not to then to, to, to and then it was big and now so then the i'll be saw a bit more of splatoon 3 not yeah. about you but i'm really not no and i played a lot of splatoon 2 in hindsight but i think that was yeah. more sort of all nintendo switch let's put let's get some games on it played through yeah. the campaign played a bit online with salmon but it was at that stage where you couldn't even choose to play a team together it would put you oh, in a match course, together yeah. no problem but you'd often be against each other and obviously no no voice chat unless it's through that well, fucking app and it's real. like what are we doing notice that see there was the um, announcement <clears throat> for Monster Hunter Rise yes um, for PC version they were just promoting it with everything that it couldn't do so it's like 4k higher <laughs> text it's like even voice chat on this one <laughs> I was like come on <laughs> using that as a selling point well, how are you going to get me back engaged with Nintendo because I've just completely oh, fallen well, off the fucking barrel with them I think it's going to take these. Well, they've actually cut. I've been reading it. They, they did you see there was like a rumor after the OLED was announced that there's a few developers out there that have got 4K yeah. um, thing. Well, Nintendo have never ever responded to rumors, but they have come out and went, nah, it's bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> I think they've said that because that, in case people that impacts the sales of the OLED, everyone go, oh, wait. I'll wait for that. Well, I'll... But yeah. It is either going to take a, well, a Switch 2, which defeats the object because you want to get back on the switch what if this dread comes out and it's 98 percent on you'd have to play it you? yeah, you'd have to consider it you'd have to, yeah I, just... I think this or that well there's other rumors of that prime trilogy but now it sounds like it's just going to be one game which 
I mean, I still buy it, but well, I don't know what they're doing. Over right. there. I don't know what's going to take to get me back yeah. in. It, need, it needs. I need something, but I just can't. I haven't got any desire to even turn it on anymore. I've done Super Mario World. We got through that. Had a little chat yeah. about that, and then I was like, oh, I'll play Super Mario sixty four next, and then I, like, I can't be fucked yet. So no, I'll don't... give you that astral chain. Never go on that. Cool. Right. Um, but me. <laughs> yeah, I said, well, I don't want to play another one of those games. <laughs> Tomita, and I'm, if I'm honest, but yeah, we'll see. So yeah, Dreads we'll coming out this Friday. Then we've got yeah. Far Cry this week as well. Um, oh, at some point, we're due to do a hype list for update. So those oh, two can come yeah. off it, and we can start to have a look. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's a big week for in. Oh, in Lapper's effects. back in the game as well. I say I was cl- clocked on to me a uh, switch, and I see he's back in the game. Bought one for. What's he been playing? Uh, what was he playing? Pokemon Unite, wow. getting the freebies. Oh. He ain't even forking out for the games anymore. Jesus. Uh, I think he was playing a bit of Mario Kart. That's a trouble, though. Even though he's probably been his his Switch for a couple of years or whatever it's been, the games are probably still the same price as when he left. <laughs> they don't ever go down. I actually they? have got a sale. Well, had a sale on, I should say. There's a few bits and pieces that have been on like thirty three quid. So, mm. like Rabbids was a tenner. That's, cool. That's maybe worth that's a go. And they played it. Oh, uh, get that, get that monster under. That'll get you back in thirty FPS slot, yeah. hundred well, hours on that switch. Got that PC butter coming down the pipeline. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that that's good, isn't it? Um, so that's enough about Nintendo. Yeah, TGS Nintendo. is still going on. I don't know. There's a few cool. bits that have popped out of that. I haven't really been keeping an eye on it, but that's that's happening as we record. There seems to be any big announcements. Nothing major. There's a few little bits and pieces. They're not worth sort of putting any time Love aside. It. Maybe if something big happens, we'll catch up on it next week. But that fucking chaos game. Was that yeah, horrid, isn't that a second demo that's come out? That's right, yeah. Uh, that's about it, really, isn't it, I think. Well, that's the news yeah. settled. Let's get, <laughs> yeah. let's get into the games. Cool. If I said to you, New World, Amazon, yeah. MMO, what would, you, what would your first response be? Paper's dick's hard. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I've, he's been harping on about this. I just anticipate it would be absolute turt. Mm. <laughs> and after the what the chore of life, what it was World of Warcraft, okay. <laughs> that fetch quest simulator. And I had a look and I just saw some man chopping down trees. And I was like, right, what is this game? <laughs> now, to the untrained ear, you tell me mm. what is New World? It's a new MMO. <laughs> That's the main oh, takeaway. Bezos. Like, yeah, so Amazon, this is about the Is this their they... first game? They've um, never done I was think it they like released a... something called Crucible last year Ooh. that bombed. That. But this is like the first oh. one that's successful, seemingly. Well, not seemingly, it fucking is. They, they've had, they've had over 800,000 concurrent players on Steam. It's, so they've hit a bit of a home run here, made some tidy profits. They've really infested the streamers and got some of the big players to be streaming mm. it. And it seems to have just really landed since it came out uh, uh, last week. And um, yeah, I, I think my initial impressions, and this is really quick, we're going to get hope. Well, we'll definitely get paper on once we've sunk our teeth into it a bit more. Um, is that if you don't like MMOs, this won't change your mind. So right. you're not missing anything if you've tried them and thought this isn't really for me. Like World the... class paper called it the other day. <laughs> well, the, the combat is improved. It's not like you know task or like button or number fucking cycling through. Like it's a bit more real time. Still pretty simplistic though in comparison. So don't expect like Devil May Cry. You know levels of no, complexity. No. It's a bit more engaging, but it's not really enough to say like. Oh, you might like this MMO if you didn't like the others. I think you're generally not going to. It's no. just it's at the very beginning at the moment, so it's a little bit new for people. Will it get more hours played than Valheim? I don't know actually. I would. I suspect it will. The only reason really Valheim got dropped is because it ain't mm. finished. So there wasn't oh, really right. a. It might. This is just from my perspective. I, f- I thought. I think there's five bosses or something, and I was like, well. It ain't finished yet, so it doesn't really matter if I leave this and come back to right, it. Right, yeah. So my view is that I won't go thing. back to that to its 1.0 and then, then finish right, it off yeah, and yeah. maybe start again. This is, as far as I'm concerned, a fully kind of fledged 
release that's that's ready to go has all the sort of different mmo bits and pieces but i'm not really experienced enough to really talk about the intricacies that's which is why someone like paper needs to be involved the queuing has been a real stinker particularly in uh week one like i queued up saturday night and it took three hours and that was just the new player so it was one of those things where in the evenings it's just been a complete disaster really uh, European time anyway I suspect it's the same for those on the American servers like at peak times worse than the fucking petrol crisis you can't even get a space on the fucking server Amazon have been loading up new servers oh. trying to you know make more space for people but it's been a bit of a a, a stinker on, on that perspective and that's really, due to how popular it's been yeah yeah and, and to be honest there was a I could have picked an empty server but Paper, Lapa, Chris, Neil, they were already on that server, so I went on that, and it ended up being a pretty popular server that got full. So they're struggling with capacity at the moment. Hopefully that will die down, but it's a bit... Yeah. You expect it for sort of the first couple of days is what's... I'm paraphrasing Sir Dave here, and he'll, he'll probably confirm or deny in the chat, but <laughs> you expect it for the first couple of days, but by sort of day five, you ought to have ironed that sort of stuff out, and it's still kind of happening. Cool. So it's um it's a bit of a battle to get in. It's just one of those things that if you're going to play at seven, maybe you bung it on at six and you'll probably be in shortly after, but that will just turn people off immediately. But um, I wasn't going to buy it even. Like, paper bought this no. for me. So oh. I have been, I've been forced into playing it almost. Like, if I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have played it. I wouldn't have got it because I would have probably waited to see what Dread was about. But now it's there, I'll probably think, well, I might as well commit to this. And, yeah. and see How's it through. run on that on that piece? Yeah, it runs Liquid nicely on bar. this. It's a, bit, it's a bit juddery now and again. But yeah, um, yeah. it runs nicely on my PC. Paper's PC, which is a bit lower spec, seems to run it okay. And so Dave's always got things set up and, and performing well. So he's he's happy as Beautiful. well. But generally, it's been pretty good. Didn't have any disconnections. Played, I think I've played seven hours or so now. So not a lot. But we'll report back, I think, with a with someone who's a bit more experienced in the genre, and when we've put a bit more time into it to see if it still um, holds up. And yeah, Mister Lapdog confirming that um, it's a bit a bit severe yeah. at this point to be still capacity issues. You're getting review bomb because of this queuing business. Or... I haven't seen any. Um, I haven't it's seen any. Of... Yeah, I was going to say I haven't seen any critical reviews really it's not got an open critic score yet no. as we record this yeah, but these are meaty bastards they take a bit to get through but i've yeah. not seen any um any review bombing just yet i haven't seen any sort of annoyance towards it but we'll see still plenty of time to go and i'll, I'll definitely be reporting yeah. back with one of the boys so that's new world. If you've not, if you're not interested in MMOs and for all oh, this might be the one, I don't think it's going to change your mind. If you've played MMOs and enjoyed them previously, and there's a couple of others that you know are playing it, probably worth hopping in. To be honest, the same jobby. They ain't got their own fucking DM or DRM, have they? Don't think so. Amazon. I don't know. They they kick people. Paper's got a real. He's getting really annoyed with people going AFK and like running a macro <laughs> to stop because you get kicked after 30 minutes of inactivity. Oh, right. Because the servers are full, he's reporting people that he sees that are like just <laughs> who've got macros set up or like or running into trees. So he's running around the server trying to police it for Bezos. Oh, and, policeman. Yeah, he's. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get him a uniform. Brilliant. But it is a, it's a, it's you know it's a symptom of the servers not being able to cope. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. it's difficult because if you've just imagine like you just queued for two hours and you think oh, oh I've got, yeah, I've got a howling there, ship that's... ruined now. You think <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make this. Like you you probably would just go right. I'll just drop a little script on so it just runs through like a few <laughs> basic items because you don't want to be getting you don't want to be booted out and then to you know queue oh, for two two, two hours. hours again. It'd be a real yeah, that is a stinker. absolute stinker. But there we go. Well, we'll definitely be be back in the coming weeks and to to chat mm-hmm. about New World. Hopefully, by then the sort of server issues have have calmed down. But interesting. I've I've not I always find that I'm never really overly excited to to jump into an MMO. But when I'm playing it, I'm perfectly. I'm just content whilst I'm playing yeah. it. There's no real like major highs. I'm not really getting annoyed. I'm just like mm. steady. So if you need to just be <laughs> grounded and anchored. If you're going a bit up and down, going through the rehab and out again, getting kicked out, then maybe an MMO is what you need just to keep you steady. So get back. Maybe there's been a classic release, didn't there? I put one on fucking 
uh, Battle Net the other day. I was like, cool. Yeah, well, classic Battle servers. Was up try it running. again. Get Lapras back again. He's gone back. Obviously, he's got full dick in. Has he's he? already been going back into that. I'm assuming now he's uh, he's dropped it for New World, but he's definitely been playing that in recent months. So, Loving life. Classic life. Right. Triple A space now. Consoles. Cool. Back to peasants. Peasants. Yeah. Watch Dogs Legion. Cool. We've both All played right, it. Gabner. PS5. <laughs> yeah. So we should say Biff has basically sponsored this segment because he, yeah. he bought the game. Didn't even open it. Gave it to Adkins to borrow. And then Adkins Ew. gave it to me to borrow. And he still ain't got it back off me. So he said, I don't need to play it till December. And I was like, all right, I'll take my time with this. God, he's but, playing Crash Bandicoot now. So he obviously does. <laughs> That's harder than Sek- Sekiro, that yeah, is. Fucking hard. That is a hard game. It's weird, isn't it? Like any any like difficult game these days, they're like, oh, it's a bit like Souls. And you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Hell. yeah. Like you say to me, it's like Crash Bandicoot. Fuck me. Their eyes will roll out. Like, Bloody hell. Those old games were definitely the hardest, but yeah. Watch Dogs is not that. Um, no. It absolutely isn't. We've both played it on the, the PlayStation 5. Um, mm, what's, your, what's your history with Watch Dogs? Because you've platinumed this played one. Them. So yeah. have all three been oh, platinumed? Or what no, we I've done one on PC. Ah, I bought Master one on Race. PC, the Master Race. That was in the pinnacle of my Master Race era. Yeah. When I told the wife that I weren't buying a PlayStation because I didn't need it. Uh, at about two years PC Master Race, and I was like, well, that Last of Us is getting remastered. I might have to buy a PS4. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> I, yes, yeah, so I bought it on PC, played through it, never platinum, but well, you don't get wow. platinum on PC, so that's why. Um, then, yeah, was yeah, lukewarm about the first game. I think I enjoyed it more than a lot of people did. I think, obviously, it was that huge expectation for how shit good on. it looked. Yeah. <laughs> It was fine, just, like, yeah. I, I really, it was just like, it reminded me a bit of like a Saints row GTA type thing, um, yeah. done by Ubisoft, had its classic tropes, thought the mechanics with the um, hacking and that were pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, got that completed and didn't really think much of it then. Then 2 came out, I didn't jump in at launch, I don't think, no, nah, definitely didn't, um, and sort of was like, okay, yeah, it looks all right. Um, and then I think I picked it up on like a bargain bin for like about 15 quid sometime. Um, and then went through that on the PS4. Um, and yeah, ended up platinum in that one as well. So two and f- and Legion platinumed. Blimey. I think that's it. It's, it's only the three games. Yeah, isn't only, it? only the three. Yeah. They dropped the number for Legion. So yeah. It's a bit of a strange well, I was one. quite hyped. For, to be honest, I'm surprised. I there must have been reviews or something out because I was quite hyped for free, uh, for Legion mm. w- when it was announced because of the setting. And I thought it looked really good, sort of um, the way you could be anyone. And and it was quite, I was quite anticipated. So maybe that came. I can't remember. I thought we'd done all right reviews, you know. Yeah. High, low 80s, maybe. High 70s, was it? Something like that. Okay, up in a minute. Um, but yeah, just didn't get around to it. And again, oh, I think it was because. It came out it just came out. before the consoles launched. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it was that's right. Yeah, I said that. I think that's why. And then, cool, was, seventy-four was, on Open Critic. Oh, maybe that put me off. But Damn. what did annoy me was there was like, it didn't come with any sixty FPS. No, at all on launch. Not at launch. So since then we've had that, and I'm glad we did because after going back, it was it was fucking like no boot running. It was horrible. Yes. But yeah, so then that that led me to to borrow it and play through it well there you go so i've played one and two as well i felt yep. like one was fine yeah okay yeah two was a bit better i enjoyed that a bit more and then legion i was interested in one because it's in london which is a obviously a bit of a home home not home like town it. but it's you know I've been <laughs> aware of it been around that sort of around the old city and that so we know what's going on there and then two, really, I guess the hook in the lead up to this was around this. Well, there's no, there's no real protagonist. You don't control any single character. You can, in theory, uh, recruit any NPC in the game to join your team, and then you can switch freely to that team member as and when you choose. And each, you know, person in the street might have no skills they might be useless but then you might walk past someone who's like a spy and they've got a gun and you know a a particular ability that you think might be useful so the idea is that you build this kind of team up from the ground up and you get the specialists in and you know it it generally gets easier so that Mm. was really like the main the main hook for this 
Yeah. How? Because that's the that's to me is the big point. It's a complete shift. We yeah. don't have Aiden and we don't have Marcus in this one. You just have these people oh. that you join. All all said and done, how did you feel about how they delivered that part of the game? Was was it a hit? Was it a miss? Was it a bit of a, a sticky old mess? Bit of a mix, to be honest. I thought I was going to have to rely on it more than I did. Mm. Um, I don't know if it's maybe I'll, I've just got complacent and was sort of steamrolling it a bit just to yeah. get the platinum done. But I found like there were a few set missions where you had to use like an agent or so to get through, or like a you could recruit someone from the Albion team, which is like their little. So, like the little ter- uh, what are they like a military group? Yeah, they're so, like a so private security firm. And they're, there is yeah. they're not they're not the police, but they act as the police for most of the game. Like you normally, you're being chased by them because it's under under Albion control. So London has been there was a terrorist attack, and then they've kind of used that opportunity to to make it a bit of a totalitarian state. Higher amounts of um, CCTV cameras, drones, privacy eradicated, yeah. all that good stuff. And yeah, Albion are the the people that are kind of clamping down security wise. Yeah. But so, yeah, ma- the majority, of, there's only a handful of missions where I felt I actually needed to use that. Yeah. A lot of the time, just because I found it so much easier, I just used the same chap I had who was a construction worker because he had, yeah. he could call in for a service drone that would just fly me around the city. Um, and I found that was very useful for just sort of getting in and out of places. You know, you've got yeah. like places that are gated off. I'll just fly over into fly the middle, it. jump off, leave me little fucking drone there, do me business, get back on the drone and fly off again. I was like, cool. So I'll probably use that for, you know, something like 70% of the game yeah. or something. But I thought the systems work pretty well. There's, um, it's quite good. You can't, it's not literally, you can't walk up to someone and go, bosh, that's it, they're part of your team now. You do have to do a mission to get them in, involved. That's it, like a uh, some, mission. Yeah, that's it, like a lot of mission. And just from going around the city, you will get um, recommended for yeah um, certain things because you get perks for different characters and stuff. Like if you get a character that's injured, you can then uh, assign like a paramedic who will speed up the process of healing. And it, I thought it worked pretty well, but I didn't utilise it as, as much as I should. What do you think? Yeah, it's... I found I, I tried to force myself to use it properly. Yeah. Like if it was a I don't know a, 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 an area that needed um, like a gang member like outfit, I would use my gang member who's got like that that outfit or uniform to go in. Same with a police officer, I'd use it. I try I try to recruit each of the different types of uniforms required so that I could get into places without. You still can get found if they get too close, but it makes it a bit easier. But I don't know. I think it just in in its, you know, it's obviously trying in its trying to make this big like change of how you 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 know control characters, who you use, and give you. It just didn't quite work for me. No, like, I just felt no. a bit disconnected. Like I don't think it helps that the voice acting was just perhaps yeah. one of the <laughs> worst. worst. <laughs> sets of voice acting I've ever had in, in like a big English budget game. voice actors out there going, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's so bad, honestly. Some of the accents, some of just what people yeah. say, the dialogue's pretty awful. And I think there was just in this, trying to make it this open, I think in the end mm. kind of hampered it for me. Um, yeah, it, it took was, like, like the whole point of, like we say, not having a main protagonist and that, it took away from the story because you don't. Yeah. There is no character build up. So anything that you, that you as the character do is sort of just redundant because yeah. yeah, you're not building any sort of character build or anything. No sort of personality. No art. Just there's no character or story no exactly no. Um, the villains that I quite like. The villains they seem. You know, well, they had to lean on them, didn't they? Because they're the only yeah. people that That's... had any sort of personality. Like, yeah, know, each of your sort what of team members four, didn't. Was it? I think it's three was it or four? four of them. Yeah, three or four. It's sort of like done in sections. You can choose. Don't think it's as open where you can get, do any of it any time. Is no, it? There's or... a couple of like parts where you can choose 
to do this first or that first. Right, yeah. And you'll yeah, go down yeah. like a little thread, I guess, of that particular yeah. enemy, and then the other one will be there, and you'll just start that up. So you can kind of do it that way, but yeah, but yeah, the the, the stories, the like, little stories, were quite good. But you found like their missions were very samey and sort of resulted in the same thing. A couple of boss fights were a bit different. They're like quite interesting. Don't really add that in. That's certainly not the Watch Dogs game. No. Felt a bit arcadey, some of them, towards the latter end of the game. But, um, but yeah, yeah, like I say, I think the, the no antagonist does, um, protagonist, sorry, yeah, did take a little way away from the story. And the ser- the story was pretty, you know, serviceable. It was quite interesting to find out. Mm. But to be honest, I thought the DLC, which came after sort of interested me more. Yeah, Bloodlines, I think it was called. Bloodlines. It was bringing back young, not young, old Aiden, old bearded Aiden. Aiden. Bearded Aiden, yeah. <laughs> Which I haven't played, um, I don't Nah, no. <laughs> well, I, I borrowed it off a biff and then it came out with about 12 quid. I was like, oh, I'm paying 12 <laughs> exactly, quid. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Just just flattened them the main game. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a strange one. Like there's some interesting. Like it's early on, it's really interesting, but then it kind of once you kind of realise how it works, it's not as de- in depth as what you'd expect. Like there's so many. Mm. It's it's just a bit shallow, I think. In the end, it's like it's big. Yeah. It's almost like I mean, I've said it. I've used it for the old what's the name No Man's Sky analogy. It's like the great big lake that they've created this massive vast lake, but it's only about an inch deep. Like it's mm. it's in this you know in it, trying to go for so much choice, you kind of sacrifice any depth of the of mm. the game, and that's what I kind of found as I the more I went through it, I was a bit like mm. I found that the combat was a bit shite as well. I wasn't really yeah I, I didn't really get on with the shooting too much. That felt a bit off. Like it was really hard to get just tightly get a headshot. I kept oh. like the the reticle would kind of move. Maybe I could have fiddled with the sensitivity. Well, I couldn't quite get things mm. where I wanted to get them, but. It was um, it's a bit of a not not overly. I got more annoyed of it as it went on. I guess is the way yeah, I'm trying yeah. to say. Yeah, to be honest, like, it was it was just like a meh game, wasn't it? It wasn't anything. It, I didn't it didn't really push the series forward. It was try. It felt like it was going to be a big. I thought there was onto something. Like I remember when um, that bloated Creed. What's that called? Oh, um, well, Middle Earth. More, more, Mordor, yeah, Middle Earth, Mordor. Um, when the Nemesis system, I was like, wow, this is like a quality, cool mm. fucking, you know, bit of kit tech that I could see being adopted by other games. This, um, you know, it seems like they've tried to, I don't know, I don't know, they tried to fucking blow up what the GTA character switch in yeah. here and gone, I'll show you how to do it. And it seems to have fallen on their ass a bit. It yeah. felt like that in in context. I'm like, wow! So you can play anyone, anyone. That's interesting. But yeah, it just it's sort of the theme of the game. Really, was just a bit disappointed, and it was fine for what it was. But I'm so glad that I didn't pay for it. Yeah, the disappointing thing is, I really like the idea and the concept of Watch Dogs. Of like yeah. uh, the hacking and all this good stuff. There are there's obviously really there's fun things you can do if you experiment um, throughout it, but they just didn't quite deliver it. Like I just I love the idea of like London being in like this this lockdown and they're being you know it kind of made sense as to why they're they're in that state. Al being a oppressing on the general public, encroaching people's freedoms, all that good stuff. And then you've got this underlying like message about data and technology and is it really that good that we're so integrated with it? There's all these nice themes in there that feel quite relevant to to today's standards, and they yeah. just just don't quite deliver what I want out of it. It's kind of three goes they've had at it. And two was was good, but not like, didn't blow me away. And this was a bit more of a step back from two, in my view. It kind of, yeah. kind of started with one, then went up with two, and then we're sort of back down. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I could say it's worse than one or if I enjoyed it mm. less, but it ain't far off. <laughs> no. Nah. No, nah, it was a shame because, yeah, I thought this was going to be the the pinnacle of the series, the mm. real the go. So I'd be interested to see what they do next. If they do try again or I don't know, drop it drop it like a bad habit. So there's um, one one thing that annoyed me most of all about this, and it's partly my fault because I didn't research it, but also 
their fault because it was marketed this way. So when we first saw this Watch Dogs Legion, they showed um, a segment of gameplay. They're controlling the guy. He gets in a bit of a pickle with Albion. He gets shot and gets downed. And when he's in a down state, he can either choose to surrender, and he'd, the assumption was he'd get arrested at that point, or he can fight on, and you kind of get it's like one more chance. If you die then, then he, he dies permanently. Mm. So you get like a bit of a risk and reward. It's like, oh, do I just do I just jack the mission in here, save this fella because he's got some useful stats, let him get arrested, and, there's, and this this happens in the game. Like people can get arrested mm. or injured, and they're yeah. out. They stay like t- locked out for twenty minutes, half an hour, or an hour of like in-game time. So it had that dynamic where you could you could choose mid-mission. If you were like really deep into it, and you're like, no, I need to, I don't want to be doing this again. Let's try this. But then if he dies that second time or gets down, that's it. He's dead for good. I was really looking forward to that, so I turned permadeath on, expecting it to be like that, that you get this decision to, to, to play it. Turns out that feature that it doesn't work like that, the game. like By default, permadeath is selected off when you start a game. You have to, you have to physically turn it on before you actually you know load the game, but it's you know in the settings, it's off, which suggests the developers are like, play this way. But I was like, no, I'll play it with on because I want to, I want to have that choice of like, oh, do I carry on or not? So I played for about five hours of it on, and you get down, you just die. You die, you just they're just dead. Like, and I was like, "Fucking hell!" Like this is quite harsh because things Brutal. can go to shit quite quickly. Oh, you get yourself yeah, you in a pickle. And what I found was that because because permadeath was on, one there were certain people I didn't want to use because it was such high stakes. I was like, "I don't want him to die because he's got like some good skills." So I was just I was just in fucking hiring people that were just shit I called them fodder in my head I was like right I need some fodder so if yeah. I'm, so for any mission where I was a bit like oh I don't know how this is going to go I would get the fodder to go and then if they died I was like well it's no big loss so I spent five six hours playing it like that probably spent four hours just recruiting people just fodder and then about, after about five people died I was like this is tur-. so I restarted it and turned it off and then from then on I found it much better like if they go down they go to hospital and you can't use them for an hour or a half hour. But you could hire a doctor on your team and it reduce the time out and the cool downs for them. So there's a nice little balance there. But yeah, I was just so annoyed at that fe- that whole feature that when they first showed it was just gone. It was just yeah. gutted from the game. So there was no choice. There was no there was no decision to be had. And I thought it'd be interesting to hit to hear why they either bin it. Well, obviously they did bin it, but why it got binned or what they thought was the fucking replacement of that that just they, right, just, they just, just basically said it's a binary choice if you have it on or off and yeah. anyone looking to play it I would say don't have permadeath on because it, it's yeah. just too it's not because the combat's not all that good I don't think anyway and you no. die quite quickly you'll be in for some frustrating times so yeah. overall that side of things I'm kind of got one, and that's partly my fault perhaps I should have researched more but I just assumed mm. because it is it was like a good decent chunk, like ten minute gameplay. I just assumed that's how it worked and that wasn't the case. No. Um, no it was poor. What did you like Didn't about t- the game? Is there oh, anything great, you, <laughs> you platin- <laughs> platinumed it, so I platinum it, yeah. Or that just because the trophy was easy. Yeah, I think the trophy is quite it was just I like platinums where you can you can do it from going through the story just once. And mm. it was pretty much just mopping everything up. It was like collect all the Yeah. Yacht logs and do all the side missions, um, and yeah, it was. It was, it was like I was, it was a bit of a grind. Get like doing it. it was probably like another ten hours after I finished the campaign, and I was like, right, okay. But yeah, I don't know. I do, I do like a lot of people do dig the the Ubisoft formula, where it is the sort of open world map full of icons you got to go and get, and I do quite like that. It's, it's as boring and as monotonous as it is. Um, I'm happy to just sit there of an evening and just chuck that on and don't have to use that brain of mine. Sounds like an MMO. Just sit... <laughs> just... <laughs> it probably is, actually. <laughs> um, just but yeah, so I, I sort of played that. But yeah, I thought, I don't know, I thought it looked quite good in its mm. graphics. Um I liked. <laughs> I liked. This is a really small point. I liked that they because it's a little bit set a little bit further in the future, so they took a few more yeah. liberties with like technology. But I liked that the cars were most of them were auto drive cars. Yeah. So not only when you got in them, you could set a route and sit back if you didn't want to, if you wanted to just oh, yeah, chill for a bit. Which I love. Special. I love all this where I can just sit there <laughs> and not have to drive or you know control the horse. But also it made 
stealing a car not feel like a crime because you just <laughs> yeah, hop, you just hop in a cab and it's there's not like you know like in Grand Theft Auto where you rip it out and then smash someone's head in with a crowbar you're like this you don't yeah. have to you don't have to go through that and because these people are like a resistance that are there to try and overthrow the totalitarian government that's in place like you want to be feel like you're a your team is the the for the people and if you start dragging people out of cars and chucking them on their fucking ear roll it doesn't yeah. for me context wise it doesn't work they give you plenty of opportunities to just still auto drive cars and then you're not really inconveniencing anyone yeah that's true i did like and it's pretty much like synonymous throughout all of the watchdog games but the way you tackle missions you really do have a choice of how you want to do it you can literally stand outside a building yeah Spend out your little spider drone and fucking he'll go and do it for you. Yeah. Or you could go in all guns blazing, you know, trying to pull off headshots and get fucking rumbled by the old Bill and <laughs> yeah. all that. And now be and so it felt like a bit of a sort of running a little bit of Deus Ex where you got that sort of freedom of whatever you want to do. And it did sort of work as to both ways. You could do that up quite a good choice. Uh, or you just hop on your fucking drone and fly to the fucking checkpoint and done. <laughs> That's it. Um, but it, yeah, it had a lack of lack of like customization. All you could really do is like, yeah. dress your character. The cars you couldn't do fuck all with them really. There's no upgrade yeah. systems or anything. Um, Even the mini tech, games. like the tech you could get, was I thought quite minimalistic because because yeah. yeah. each of your characters normally have their like abilities set. There's like one mm. or two different like tech or weapon things you can change. There wasn't really. No, I don't think they use much of them. And like there was like grenades, like yeah, electric grenades. I don't even use that cloaking thing. But then you lose the spider bot, and I was like, that's just yeah, that's, the spider yeah, bot's is... invaluable because you haven't got to get your hands dirty. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It was just, it just felt a bit minimal to be honest. It was like one you had to like, fucking play darts. I think that's the only mini yeah, game. That's it. Yeah. Um, there was like a couple of missions that were like races, but it weren't really much of that. Anything. The cars felt a bit better. Still, you ain't looking at GTA types of thing. No. What did you quality. do? You think they captured the vibe of like England and London? Because the one part I always remember was when I walked into a pub and then they were playing Free Lines, and I was like, Yeah. <laughs> okay. So like, that's quite good. Bit of research. There were bits like it was quite interesting, like driving around bits you're like fucking hell yeah that does look like that and mm. oh you, you do go there yeah um it's annoying it worked one for one scale i was trying to go from tower hill to i was no, like right, well, i tried to do angle. my route that i walked to work but one <laughs> thing is the albion take have taken over some plots and buildings so they've they've kind of it's not a one for one in that sense because mm. they're they're in the way but they, they, in some areas they got like quite close like i could roughly yeah. like the major landmarks sort of there on the way but then there's other parts where I was like that road ain't there that's not that's cool and all <laughs> that stuff but sort of minor gripes really um yeah at the end of the day i suppose it did it did capture the vibe a bit um you had sort of different i, I, I suppose the regions like they had the different areas you had like fucking what was it like Battersea or whatever it is yeah. like you got the fucking power, power station yeah. they should have made them a bit more diverse yeah um you know like you, you go around fucking Chelsea and you're like cool what's it? and then get down to fucking the proper east end of London and shit up <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> they should have done a bit more like that but it all sort of blended into one didn't but, feel that yeah, big was... no it didn't to be fair in terms <laughs> like it wouldn't take long to did you continue your app special as well, not um, fast travelling, or did you use a bit of fast travel? Um, I didn't fast travel. I tested it out cool. once or twice. Yeah. Did you use the tube to fast travel on this? I was like, that's, that's quite it. good. But then I noticed mm. that the in-game time wasn't moving. I was like, well, he's he's, he's teleported there, isn't he? Because it's still five <laughs> past eight, so I couldn't use cool. it after that. But what I did like is because you once you hire someone, they, in theory, just walk him around the map. So you can actually yeah. go to the map and find like where your operatives are. Oh, You're like, oh, right. so and so's yeah. there. And what I liked is when you trigger a mission, and it was like, say, it was two thousand meters away on the other side of, of of the river. If you go into the map, often one of your people would be scouting the mission, and mm. then you could just go right. I want to control them. You go and take over control of them, and then you're right by the sort of opening of the mission. So I kind of use that to avoid a lot of just monotonous driving around trouble yeah. was with that is that you'd get there and then they might not be the best equipped person for that particular task but no. when, you, when I got to a certain competency of how the game worked I didn't really need to worry about who I was using I felt like I was quite because I wasn't just hiring Toot then I was just getting people that no. were useful like there was all 
you know, it was, it was fine if I chose the paramedic because I kind of they had a spider bot for one. I could I could change and, and use them like that, but ultimately, um, yeah, I didn't really use the 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 um the fast travel because of that. But the the mechanic of being able to just switch to your other characters is quite good just to get around um certain places. But yeah, yeah, the puzzles didn't really adapt on that really. Exactly I've had the, the same fucking... as two, I think. Yeah, too. Just had that fucking like, what is it? Our circuit thing where you just yeah. to keep spinning it in. Basically, they've done some cool stuff. Chucked in old fucking Stormzy the rapper. Yeah, he's on, on that big. Where is that big building in real life? Don't know. Wait, can't don't know what it is. No, I'm sort of car thing. I think anyway. But yeah, so yeah, they didn't really adapt on that. So it wasn't any like major game breaking things the story that like i say was serviceable i thought it was going to get dark and it was i quite liked the woman i can't admit that's the thing that a lot of them were quite forgettable yeah, i can't absolutely. think of the name it was fuck evil helen mirren yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um it was doing talking about like fucking she was like some gangster gangster's wife or whatever and they were doing like um human trafficking and stuff and using their organs and stuff I'm yeah like, oh, it's it, gonna yeah. get real dark this is quite fun um, but yeah, sort of. They they seem to end up like, really quickly as well. Like the segments, it's all comes sort of to like, an oh, end. You're like, oh. yeah, <laughs> like oh, that's that one done. All right, okay, on to the next. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so yeah, it, the, it was it was fine for what it was. But like I said before, it's, I didn't feel it. It's moving the series into into a thing. It's, it's certainly not overly hyped for another one. If they chuck another one out next year or something, games games awards they get announced. Yeah. Watch Dogs 4 coming 2023. I've been up. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough now. Get a new IP on the go or something. Get that running. Get that skull and bones out, Ubisoft. Yeah. That. So what's your what? What's your score? What's your grading on this? So your, oh, it's a tough fine. one. Yeah. In my head, I don't know if that's too hard. I'm going seven. Yeah, that's what I had. In my head. How was it? Oh, there Scraped you go. It. Unanimous. Yeah. Scraped to seven. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, it held me enough that finishing the campaign weren't a weren't a fucking blow. It were it certainly weren't a bloated fucking Creed game. That's no, a good thing. Like, the, to yeah. get that finished and that the 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 thing felt a bit bloaty, but that's purposely that's that's my own fault for going for the clear down. But <laughs> it wasn't a chore to play. It was fine. It just wasn't. The trouble is, we're fucking rewarded with such good games now. You, you have even like other games like fucking Psychonauts coming out. You like yep. the ninety percent games. So when you get a game like this, yeah, they're fine to play, but they ain't they ain't lasting in that brain or getting no, any rewards. So be gone, won't they? Yeah, this time so next year, a... won't even be talking about it. Nah, so yeah. it's strange. But what, um, I thought that the idea was interesting. Like if they if they were going to do like another go at it, I wonder mm. if they could scale it back slightly. In that, right. rather than allowing you, I think you can hire up to like forty-five operatives, which is like, why would I need to oh, do yeah. that? You just don't need to. But maybe you, maybe you have like a squad that you have to build of like eight people, and mm. you have to go and hire them throughout the, the the game. And perhaps there's a choice: you could hire this guy or this girl, and they've both got slightly different skills, but they will fill that space in your squad, and they're a yeah. bit more unique. And you kind of still have like a leader and whatnot. I don't know if there's a better way of doing it where you haven't yeah. got oh you can you can be anyone, and you can choose anyone, which is great, but very shallow. Mm. If they could just sort of tighten it up a little bit, be a bit more focused, and say, All right, here's eight people we want to focus on. And, you know, you can choose them and, and, and hire them for that particular job. And they've all got a bit of a personality rather than yeah. regurgitated That's fucking the... voice lines and what we got. Exactly, yeah. Region. I don't know if that would work better. It does sound like it would, because like you say, it definitely detracted from that. I never got Nana. Did you get Nana? No, <laughs> I didn't somewhat... get Nana, because they can't move. They can't jog. It's like, no. <laughs> it's like whilst it's for comedic value, it'd be funny. You're like, oh, yeah, just get a team of what... Nanas. It's like, really? <laughs> How am I going to sit here and make thing, this? a lot of them. That's why they did feel like as soon as that cunt came with his fucking, you, know, you could just on demand, the click of a button, a fucking drone comes in. I yeah. thought, well, quicker than anything else in the game. So yeah. I'm just going to use that, I think. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit like, uh, was it Saints Row when they like started bringing in all the superpowers? Like the fucking cars were redundant. Yeah, like, you jump yeah, across no, the road. sprint across the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I was like, eh, it's a bit like that. But no, it's a shame because, like you say, there's there's foundations there and there's segments of the game that I think, oh, that's a good idea. They could really do push, but 
execution-wise, um, fall short. I've got a note here to ask you. This is just continuing like the Ubisoft conversation. Is to ask you about Assassin's Creed Valhalla because there's no score cool. logged here. So me and Logan oh. did the actual sort of chat about it. But whilst oh, we've got yeah. you and we're in this Ubisoft mode, oh, I'm cool. interested now. We've just given. I liked it. Hmm. I did. Um. So that's seven. To be honest, it's probably the best Creed game I've played for mm. a long while. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, probably four was the last one I really, really enjoyed. Um. A, oh, a very long, very bloat feel. Yeah. Um, but I enjoyed my bloat on that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I enjoyed my time with it. Bloat didn't go back. Have you? You've completed all of it now, and all the DLC. All the DLCs. Yeah. All to. I thought the story was good. I really like the Viking setting. Lends itself well to the Creed. Solid eight. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe an eight five. Cool. No. Eight for that, yeah, very good. It was very long, but I did enjoy sort of fucking going mental and running around with my ex and yeah. fucking do it. Only thing that annoyed me is it was I played the old game as a bloke and then <laughs> then I get told it's canon to be the woman. I was like, right, <laughs> in here. Well, it lets you, so, it lets you, it says, do you want to be the fella or the woman version of um, fuck me, Ivor? And or oh, there's an option where you can let it decide for you. It just it will it said it will change at the appropriate time. So I just did that and ended up with female Ivor. So I was I was canon sort of lucky that 140 oh, hours isn't flashed. Oh. Yeah, that's the Ubisoft clan dealt with. Yeah. Let's move on to some Avengers because oh, for a little while Sondra. now we've had Black Panther, War for Wakanda that's been out. You've yep. rattled through all the Avengers content, haven't you, that you've been served up yeah. since its release, all the DLC. Yeah, Spider-Man yeah. still en route, we're told. Uh, on Game Pass for the Xbox users, although obviously when Spider-Man yeah. drops, you won't be getting that. So Square Enix are absolutely taking a bung every few months because it was on PS Now three or four months ago, but that was only the PS4 version. So Jim Ryan tightening belt fucking braces here. But I've heard a lot of hype about the Black Panther one because the Avengers game itself, I think we can all agree, it wasn't well received and people had some issues with it and still do. And the DLCs that have come since have been a bit hit and miss. But everyone yeah. loves Black Panther. So cool. high expectations for the War for Wakanda. You tell me, what's this piece of free DLC like? Free this is all DLC. included. Fucking bag of back, bag of shit. Nah. <laughs> to be fair, yep. it's the best DLC they've done, and it does push the game forward. It's the biggest DLC they've done. Okay, um, well, just in length? In length, in terms of length, yeah. It's not just the story. You've, they've added different modes. Um, there's now, like, right, I think they're adding raids. I don't even. They might have even done this um, since I played it, I think, but... Um, yeah, there was like a raid mode that you could do. There was, there's certain little missions, I forget what they're called now, like fucking Tachyon Rifts or something, some sort of such. <laughs> but basically there's side missions aside from this story that integrates Black Panther. But yeah, the I always found like the story sections that they think, that's what I said about this game, like if it was just a, if they, if it had turned it into a, a Tomb Raider style game, yeah, um, where it was just a, the campaign on its own. I think it would have been received a lot better than it was because they've made it this live service. That's the worst Quick part. Quick question on the live service. I think I've asked this before, but it's been so long since we've spoken about it. Mm. So it's got live service elements in it. Is there monetization yeah. strapped into this as well? Or can you not even spend or spend money? You is, but it's only for cosmetic items. Right. Okay. So, and it's a lot like costumes. Um, I think you can buy some of the currency to help upgrade stuff. I think you can. Right. Yeah, I think there is stuff that you can. So there is a bit. They try to make out this big fucking That's thing. The thing that they've they not even gone be. full for the jugular, though, have they? No, like, they've not. No, they've not gone like, oh, right, this really extract more money out of people. They kind of just put yeah. it aside, and then it's negatively impacted the entire game because they've got all these yeah. features and bits and pieces in it. That's so. it. But yeah, I've always thought the strongest part of this game is the story campaign. Um, it's difficult, I think, with any of these games. It's why I'm a bit hesitant on this 
Guardians game because of the how well received and how likable the MCU is. So you've already got a visual representation of these characters, you know, mm. fucking Chris Evans is Captain America, Chris Pratt's fucking Star Lord or whatever. To see these in a game, he's Mario it's, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try that. Where's his fucking Italian accent now? Um, <laughs> how are you doing that without sounding racist? <laughs> don't know. I, that, that, did, that has crossed my mind these days. And that's that will be. There'll be eyebrows probably raised. At that it depends yeah. how far they go with it. Like, yeah, if it goes Don me all day. Right, pack that in there. I don't Come know on. if they're going to be allowed. So, we'll see. Maybe it'll <laughs> just be an American be... version of it. Yeah, no, like cool. they did with the actual film, the Bob Hoskins one. Oh yeah, they're, like, they're, gonna... Amer- they're Italian Americans, aren't they? So, oh, that's right. They're, yeah, they're New Yorkers. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe do that then. I mean, to be fair, I thought that was going to be an issue with Sonic, but that seemed fine mm. for what it was. So maybe it'd be all right. Um, but yes, yes, story DLC. So yeah, I found that before, the, the little story segments, they were all right, but they were so short. I think, what did we have? We had, was it um, Hawkeye and Hawk Girl? Or yeah, Hawkeye and his mentor, wasn't it? That was it, yeah. yeah. I think that's all they had, didn't they? I think it actually, yeah. actually has been it, because yeah. all this, this stuff has been delayed. Like, Spider-Man yeah. was supposed to be within the first year. I think, well, it's missed that already. It's already been out a year. Yeah, and uh, now it's still coming this year, but we we don't know exactly when, as far as no. when we're recording this. No, but so yeah, this when this update came, so you had a lengthy. I think it was about three or f- no, it was probably longer. There's about four or five hours. I think this was just a story campaign. So going through this, a sort of integration with Black Panther, and the biggest thing was that he felt different to most of the characters because like Hawkeye and Hulk Girl, or yeah. whatever her name is. Were both exactly the same, you know. Their moves were pretty much identical. They both moved the same sort of way. They, you didn't feel there's a difference when you're playing an like Iron Man to Hulk, so to say. But yeah, when you're playing this, um, yeah, he's very nimble, very quick. Um, the environments looked a lot different as well. Whereas that's one of the big downfalls of this game. I remember you saying that it put you off a lot. Was um, the enemies, you know, it was just just robots, wasn't it, throughout the whole entire yeah, game? Yeah. So this, you got completely new, different enemies, um, different zones, and yeah, it was, the story was yeah, it's pretty good. It sort of sets up stuff. It poses. Is it like a continuation sections. of the other DLCs or the main yeah. story, or could you like buy this net or go to Game Pass now? I should say. And then go, right, I want to do the Black Panther stuff straight away or as soon as possible. Or would it not make sense if you haven't done Hawkeye and Mentor and all that stuff? Or was it, was it quite I mean, like segregated? No. It, it's a bit like the watching the MCU things. You probably right. could play it on get its away own. With it, but yeah, ideally. you'll get away with it. But there is little sections of it that will carry on and characters that appear. The two Hawkeyes, their stories were connected and I think it did lead straight on yeah. from that. Okay, they, um, those two, yeah. Yeah, and where this one, yeah, this, they're sort of starting to build their own sort of MCU and this, like the fucking, the, the, through this game. I'd be so interested, like, if they could get some sort of deal with the PlayStation games, it would be awesome if you just got that fucking PS4. As it is, you know, what's it called? If they did magically announce that Insomniac will be joining, then <laughs> that would be quite fun. Uh, and then we can get Wolverine and everyone in, but I can't imagine them Sorry, doing they that. Sorry, they want to tarnish their name with this shit. No. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like I say, the, the story is pretty good. They added some puzzle elements into this one as well, which we've not had much of. We had the odd little bit, a couple of little things, but there were some puzzle segments in this DLC. New hub world that you could go. You did get one with each of the others, I think, but this is like, you've got like a huge big kingdom of Wakanda you can run around and right. do certain bits and bobs. They overhauled um, a lot of the like, inventory systems. So it's very much similar to um, Destiny. So old Dave will be Is that a change Nick. for the base game as well, if he's playing that for yes, the first time? Yes, so, yeah, yeah. So it's a complete overhaul in that. Um, I think they've fuck, they, like, done something to the... Uh, the experience as well, so it's harder to like level up now and get into the in game stuff. Yeah. yeah, seems like the to worst be... idea in the world to me. Yeah, it? yeah, it was. But they do tend to have a lot of sort of days. I keep getting emails about fucking double XP days. Yeah, 
they're just try, they are trying. I think the best thing for this game will be getting it on Game Pass and sort of trying to build the thing. Um, it just seems to be like they're going in the right direction. I just think these games outside of um, Destiny just seem to be a bit of a miss, really. I mean, has anyone spoke of uh, Outriders since it launched? No. Well, that's the that thing. That... They they maintain that wasn't supposed to be a service game, but I was oh, like, really? you fucking made it look and sound like that. So that's, I think, what's stunning. To be fair, I'm so, I've always said about this game, I think it would have been better if it was a, not a live service game. Well, oh, yeah. That, this Guardians isn't, so we'll see how that does. And I've got that's... a feeling that ain't going to do. Well, we'll see, but I ain't got big expectations for that. But I felt that this story, like the... Again, this is a PS5 version I'm playing now, so we got a free update. They do I'd give them their due. They they haven't fucking gone all crazy and made you pay extras. They could have easily said, right, pay for that PS5 version, pay for this Spider-Man DLC, pay for this Wakanda yeah. update. So it has all been free, to be fair to them. Um, Again, like the the things where you'd expect them to just take money yeah. off or ask for more money, they haven't done, and yet they've no. still managed to embed some of these service type things in there it's just a complete negative to the game without even making yeah. a sh- trying to like make a shitload of money off you it's just a bit bizarre yeah, that it's just a bit bizarre when you could have just is. like you said perhaps removed it all lost a little bit of money but created a far better product yeah um so yeah um but yeah it's good for what it is like i say story pieces are are the the meat and well it's the, the meat for me i don't think I'll, i'm sure a lot of their player base is the end game to i think it's only that, you and one other that are still playing it so i'll ask them yeah. to try and get him on next week see if it's who's that <laughs> no, i'll choke you i think oh, right, I was gonna say, there isn't many that like, to be fair I'll there ain't just... many players are there of this no nah, there's not on. not no no thing I, I think i'm the only one of our group that have bought it and did play through it yes. uh, so i do jump on but once i've done the dlc when it gets to sort of leveling my characters up and that i just sort of lose interest because it you are just sort of typical destiny you're replaying the same sort of missions and it is just a bit meh to be honest um mm. but like i say th- this is a free update yeah. does certainly it's the biggest and best update they've done so far where they've overhauled not just you know, not just stuck a little campaign on and gone, yep, yeah, they have added new segments, new missions, new new shit to do, new end game tutors. I think they increased the level cap and yeah. then they start set up a new one. You remember they used to do the fucking you could increase your lights, uh you know, there's there's bits to be had if you're into this and you want to go balls deep, but I don't know, it's all these I think that, um, if anyone else is bringing out another game like this, I'll be amazed after Anthem, <laughs> Avengers, uh, what's his name? Um, yeah. No good. <laughs> no good at all. Well, a sour end into the podcast, but yeah. if you already got it, this one might be worth diving back in for. Yeah, yes. I was going to say, if you have played it and you've been waiting for something have to be Have you bought it last off? year and you've been like, oh, fucking sitting here. Yeah. Well, to be fair, now is probably the best time to jump into it because you it's on that Game Pass. So you're getting it, yeah. well, not for free, but you're getting it included there. Included with your subscription. Included. You've got all the DLC that's included and the big, well, like a lot of the problems that people had with it was of how sh- shit it ran when it first uh, released. So now it's buttery smooth on these new consoles. Oh, I would butter. recommend if you're into this type of game, I ain't saying that, you know, the avid game, but this ain't a Biff game. <laughs> it's not a new game. catchphrase it's it's there for if you're in if you have a sort of i would be interested to get like a group of them to play this game the likes like the destiny crew to play it because of like it's it's not gonna fucking sell you on it and you're not gonna go cool this has got us back into the mood but there's enough there that i think you could like for one night or something if we was to like go through it and try and beat up your characters maybe there might be something there but it ain't getting anyone back in regular and it's not fucking selling it's not it's not fucking changing that genre or improving it for the better no it's just another one of those games and yeah bit of a bit of a shame but they're they're headed in the right step i just wonder how you know what they're going to do with this with spider-man are they going to update it again and overhaul it or they're just going to keep adding to what it is i think well, it'll stay the same because one of the uh, one of the other news pieces that sort of happened whilst you was in rehab was that the initiative are 
doing Perfect Dark and they are now co-developing yeah. it with Crystal Dynamics. So, oh, so there's, really there's thumbs up asses going on at Crystal Dynamics somewhere. Yeah. They're, they're taking on more contracts and Square are like, yeah, you know what? You, you, we'll take a few fucking bits of cash off of uh, Microsoft and you can fuck off for a little while and do that. Like, so maybe after Spider-Man, they'll just be like, should we just pack this in? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah I think we should come that's, off that. That's what I wondered. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, you know, there's only so many more characters they can add before they've got fucking hundreds to choose from. And yeah. like I say, two of them already play the same. You get another character in there that can fly, you fuck. So, yeah, yeah <laughs> yes. It's a shame. Like, like I say, I'm happy to play it for five hours, but I certainly won't be chucking another 30 and trying to get my character to max level. Just to do any levelling up to play it? Or can you, like, did you have to? Because I know you, you've sort of done I, the, I, the previous DLCs. You could jump straight in without any hassle. No, you can just jump straight in, to be fair. They're, they're quite handy. It's yeah. quite good for the brain because um, it starts off with a menu. So you've got, like, the main campaign. Uh, then you have what they call the Avengers Initiative, what is all the live service. Right. Um, multiplayer missions and then you've got these three dlcs that have a um percentage meter of how much you completed them okay um, so you can just die if you just dive into those yeah you could just dive into them and brand new fresh it campaign. will tell you that you're gonna fuck yeah the spoilers and stuff in the story so you could <laughs> just jump in if you want yeah. but yeah so it's quite handy in that sense but yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, I'm done with these types of games. And, yeah, it'd be interested to see how long, because I think they're sort of, I think they must realise now it's just sort of shagging a dead horse, isn't it? A bit yeah. like the Anthem thing, they were like, should we do reboot this? And I bet EA were like, nah, come probably, on, come on. <laughs> probably not, we should leave that. Yeah. Well, that's going to be it for this week. So yeah. we'll call it to an end. We'll get you back in short order. Like I mentioned at the top of the show, I had a little bit of chat around New World, but I want to get the professionals in to talk Big about boys have just arrived. Yeah, they have all started waffling in about it again <laughs> in, the, in the chat, so they're still chatting New World, but we'll get some uh, some informed opinions on that, not me trying to fucking bumble my way through. Uh, if you want to support us, patreon.com forward slash dimp digital is the way to go, or twitch.tv slash dimp digital. Subscribe there for free. Well, again, included with your Amazon Prime subscription, you've got to say, because it ain't free. But it don't cost you anything. You can subscribe to the channel. Two dollars we'll get for that. Chuck it on maybe some more new acts. Who knows? We'll have a little go at that. But if you've get reached this... Back. Get him back. Yeah, he needs to be... He's up, good at doing it. Up in his he side. paid for it last month, didn't he? I know. He paid, yeah, he put his <laughs> hand in his pocket. Couldn't work it out. I was like, oh. <laughs> It's a bit of a disaster, but thanks for all those that do that for us. We do appreciate it and uh, promise not to squander your money too badly. Akin said it's the last time he's going to go to rehab, so yeah, I think after, after that... After this, we'll, I say I'm an addict. I'm just, just, just going to get heroin straight in. <laughs> Moorish all that, innit? So you've got to be careful with yeah. it. But that's it for this week. We'll be back next Monday for more video game chat or idle game chat, I should say. Oh, dread. Dread, mate. Dread, Metroid be... Dread is out this week, oh, so we, we could have some opinions on that. We might even have an OLED to show off. We, we don't know. An OLED, we don't know. So we'll up in the, all things are possible. We're we'll probably and, and look, the, the size of New World means and the queuing probably means we'll only be twenty five percent through that game. So <laughs> that ain't going to be ready. So look cool. forward to next week. It could be anything, but Metroid Dread most likely. A little bit of a weekend. What about week. this streaming, Larkin? What streams are we getting that of uh, New World? Well, I, I should. I will maybe start doing it now. I'm up to scratch and you know. Hall's set up right it. off now, isn't he? Paper, papers. Yeah, Hall's not into it. Papers, PC sort of melts. He says, and it, it makes oh. it look worse. Papers, PC, and stream. It put me off really because it was so bad, but. <laughs> When you see it on lap dogs, you're like, okay, it does look like a normal game, not just some stuttery mess. Cool. So that's handy. But we'll certainly be chucking some streams out of that, whether it's of any entertainment. But lap dog has been doing a little bit over the over the week, as and when he can get into a fucking game. So again, mm-hmm. you we can we could do a stream of just queuing. Like if you want to sit there and watch <laughs> yeah. the queue screen with me, I'm happy to do yeah. that. Um, that should get the fucking punters in. Jesus That's Christ. It. Well, they were the fucking hot tubbing and licking each other's ears the other week, so... Well... Q simulator. Love it. That's not a bad way of doing it, actually. <laughs> Might do that. Get some hot tubs in here. Cool. Got power cable can do the lot. Anyway, uh, waffle. <laughs> Thanks for your time. And ta-da. ta
This was a Dimp Digital production.